Hi everybody, Karis here. And I'm coming to you live from the underworld. I'm just kidding. I'm in Arizona. But I'm also in the underworld. I think you guys are too. Everybody is right now. And this video is going to be about that. I just had a friend of mine contact me this morning and say, Karis, what is going on astrologically? Is there anything weird? Because I feel like I want to punch someone and I never feel like that. And I had to agree and say, yeah, I actually snarled today. Snarled like an animal, like teeth bearing <laughs> snarl. So I'll go ahead and say that if you're going through a dark period right now, you're not the only one. You're not alone. It's all good. Because there's a reason that there is a story of Hades and Persephone. If you don't know who those people are, they're Greek gods who... Hades was the god of the underworld, so it was the caverns underneath the earth where, according to that mythology, the dead souls went to do whatever they did in that mythology after death. Persephone was a goddess of growing things, so what ended up happening was she married him. There's a lot of drama that happened, but essentially, during the cold season, she would be down below with him, and then during the warm season, she would do her work on the surface of the earth, and... <laughs> Obviously, the cold season was cold in that myth because she wasn't there. So, anyway, we're almost at the winter equinox. I mean, I'm sorry, the winter solstice. And there's a lot of darkness right now. It's getting dark early, everyone's sleepy, everyone's hibernating, And that's fine. Just go with it. Embrace it. And when you feel like snarling, it's okay. I would just highly recommend <laughs> that you try to always keep in mind... The fact that even if you're upset, the repercussions of your actions will still ripple, even if you're upset. So I know this because I often, when I'm losing my temper, have to say, Karis, don't be a jerk because if you are, you're going to regret it later. It's going to come back and kick you and you probably are not going to want to deal with that. So you can feel however you want to feel on the inside. This is what I say to myself. But just remember to be high vibe in your actions. That's what I say to myself. I don't always remember, but I try to. So I'm gonna show you guys where I am. This is a random little person-made resort. It's very small and humble, which I think is fantastic because that means it's kind of hidden. It's very fairy-like. For instance, look at this table. What is that, right? Yeah, this whole place is awesome. I'm just gonna take you through a quick little tour. It's called Essence of Tranquility. It's about two hours from Tucson. And we're staying here for about a week before we head over to New Orleans for a little while. I think we're going to New Orleans. I'm really not sure. But I just want to peek in and show you a couple of the hot springs. So this woman who owns this place built it with her own two hands. I think she just had hot springs coming up on her land and now she built it. So here's a communal area. And see, it's very just humble and cute, I think. And then here are some of the rooms with the hot springs. Oh my goodness. And you close the door and you have it all to yourself. So take a look. Awfully dark, I hope you guys can see this. Yeah. And I'll show you my favorite one. My favorite. And one of the coolest things is that when you come stay here, you get 24 access to the hot spring. So you can wake up at 1 in the morning and come in here and, oh, one more thing I want to show you come in here and just soak for a while. I think I did once last night from like 10 to midnight and then again this morning at like 5 a.m. Look at this. This is amazing. You know, some version you go and you just know that fairies built them. Not to mention that when I checked in, she had sparkly rainbow colored fingernails and you know, what's more fairy than that? And there are also the obvious things like this. Right, so these little heaven bubbles, I, I would never have known about this place except for a random search one time. And you know, it's not posh and glamorous, but I kind of like it better for that. And it kind of feels like a more beautiful secret. And there have been lots of visitations. Apparently the other night in, I hope you guys can see that beautiful mountain. In Tucson, there was a crazy UFO sighting. So we'll see what happens. We did definitely hear things outside our cabin last night that did not make sense and that were not animals and that every time we looked they were gone and that had funny little synchronicity. So 
who knows what's going to happen, but I just want to encourage you guys to do all that you can to make yourselves as comfortable as you can through this time of transition and challenge. It's likely that you're going to be triggered by random stuff. Some of it might be things that are normal triggers for you. Some of them might be things that you just kind of jump at and you don't know why. <laughs> and if any of that's true, then that's fine. Just be gentle with yourself. Go slow. Try not to make your calendar too busy because I think right now is a real time of hibernation and rest. And when hibernation really comes calling, there's only so much fighting it that you can or you should do because a lot of times people hibernate because they need to, you know? So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for your well wishes about everything that happened with the pregnancy and stuff. I, that was very much appreciated. And I felt all of your love coming to me and I really am grateful for you. And things are good. It, it's fine. I waited to post until after I'd already gone through my morning. So by the time you guys knew about it, I was already pretty much okay. But love is still amazing. So thank you. Uh, go in peace. Try to find your little heaven bubbles like this. Do a search. Do a search of your town for what tourists do when they come to your town. Because usually when we live in a place, we never do the things that we would do if we were visiting. So you might miss out on the magic of your own environment. Alright. Much love. Go in peace. I'll talk to you again very soon.